We begin tonight with exclusive police video of an arrest no one expected, and pet owners need to beware. Some face criminal warrants and jail time in connection with the spread of a deadly disease. As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, those who don't protect their pets may now end up behind bars. Here's what you need to know. Animal Control Services is watching. And if you choose to ignore the state law for rabies vaccines, the hammer's coming down. You could end up in jail. It was so crazy. It was just uh, surreal almost. A moment caught on police video. Cynthia Gambrell still can't believe what happened after a minor fender bender. Way over the top to have somebody arrested. I mean, go to court. You know, do it that way. Do just like a citation where you have to go to court. Don't push it that far. Here you see Gambrell led away in handcuffs. Was she to blame for the minor accident? No. But Murfreesboro police did find Gambrell and her best friend Lorenzo Espy had warrants related to, of all things, their pet dogs. Yeah, really weird. In this instance, apparently there was a warrant out there for failure to vaccinate. You heard right. They are accused of failure to vaccinate for rabies. With more than 25 rabies cases in Rutherford County since last year, Pet Adoption and Welfare Services, or PAWS, is now taking out warrants on owners who don't comply. It's standard for police to check for outstanding warrants, and if they find one, they must act. If there's an outstanding warrant for your arrest, then when an officer comes in contact with you, they are to take you into custody, um, take you to the jail. Gambrell and Espy both posted bond, but not before getting to know some of the other inmates. I was in there with some girl that was so doped up, she couldn't even hold her head up. And then as soon as I leave out of the cell, I'm hearing them scream and fight in there. The staff here at PAWS consider criminal warrants to be a last resort. They'll give you one, two, even three chances to get those rabies vaccines, but choose to ignore that? Well, as you saw in this story, the police may come get you when you least expect it. In Rutherford County, Nick Barris, News Channel 5 HD. Gambrell says she's innocent and will fight the charges. PAWS considers this a public health issue and hopes that taking out criminal warrants gets the attention of pet owners. It is a $1,000 bond just to get out after such an arrest. A rabies shot at most clinics will only cost $15.